It's season one on the Dog Whisper. Really all that? Welcome guys, Felix from Dog Train Beyond. I'm a professional dog trainer for 13 years. Today, we're going to be doing a dog trainer's reaction, my reaction to season one. All right, so let's jump on it right now. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dogs and a llama. <laughs> so how is that possible? Calm surrender is what makes it possible. Then the human practice calm, and then two goats, and then the dogs have to disregard the goats. Disregard the, the, the smells in here. True. So true. In order for you to have an amazing walk. This walk becomes very spiritual, very instinctual, very loving, very smart. Because if you walk for 30 minutes like this, their brain is practicing avoidance to the environment. Self-discipline. We follow our human. Then you can start creating rules, boundaries, limitations. The walk is so powerful and so important. He is so right. You know, it's, it's really, really true that the walk is a powerful thing and that once you get that walk, they will focus on you and forget about other stuff. And I've always, always, always told people the power of the walk is very important. He already went through a lot over there. Forget about the past. Mm -hmm. You don't bring him here to feel a victim. Like many rescue dog owners, Kim is afraid and overprotective. Right, but in order right, for right, Luke to true. progress, she needs to stop focusing on his limitations and instead encourage him towards what he can do. Common thing that people do, they get a rescue dog and then they feel that the dog was abused or was on the street hungry. What they allowed themselves to do is to overprotect. Unfortunately, when you overprotect or you give too much love, you're not giving enough discipline, you're not giving them rules, you're biting the butt. <laughs> basically i feel so bad and then they allow the dog to get away with stuff and then it adds up adds up adds up the message of what he was telling her was forget about the past work on the present and get him lined up with all the training and i'm not saying sit down stay i'm talking about the limitations of what he can and cannot do this is something i love from caesar actually animals play simple they live in the present they live at the moment. It's all humans that don't live in the present. They live in the past or they live in the future. And that's why we're all screwed up. We got to live in the present just like the dogs. The dogs live in the present. We got to live in the present. So whatever happened yesterday, happened yesterday. Now we got to move on and get that dog better, give rules what they're allowed to do, not allowed to do. How did the dogs became so explosive, right? It's explosive there when, when you saw the first video. But this is what happens. You want to go for a walk? <laughs> I have to stop it right there. Just give me a second. There's a lot of trains out there that do not like Caesar. He is my Muhammad Ali. I don't think I would be doing dog training right now if it wasn't, or be successful in dog training, if it wasn't for him. He is very entertaining. One thing with trainers and even lecture, people that do lectures, they are boring. You lose your audience. And I have to tell you right there, right now, he's very entertaining. He's talented. I went to the show a number of years ago. I enjoyed it. I had a great time. Talking about dog training could be boring, but he made it interesting and fun and entertaining. <laughs> yes, I do want to go for a walk! <laughs> and when you have four dogs, <laughs> you're going to have this... <laughs> Then the humans go, stop, wait, wait, no, stop, wait, wait, sit, 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 wait. That is so true. So, so true. The humans get the dog all excited, and then they want the dog to cut. And then repeating themselves a million times, sit, 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 down, down, down. No, no, no. It's so true. They're talking to the dog after the human just created this chaos. This explosion, energy means a lot. Energy, you know, how you begin things means how uh, a lot what, what the dog is going to interpret. So there's nose, eyes, ears, not ears, eyes, nose. So we are ears, eyes, nose. They are nose, eyes, ears. So, so to respect the way they learn, the way they connect, the way they understand life, is the way they show respect back. The humans are the ones that create all these issues. I hate to tell you guys, it's so true. The humans are creating these issues. If you allow two dogs, one to push the other dog out of the way, that's not the dog's fault. That's the human's fault. It's your job to get in, tell the dog, stop, leave the other dog alone. I have had people come to me and they are so anxious and nervous. And the dog's like, okay. And they're like, oh, he's going to do this. He's nervous. 
and <laughs> they create this this nervous dog. The dog's acting fine, maybe a little, a little insecure, but they're the ones that are nervous. They're the ones that are freaking out. It's amazing, but it's true. You have to have calm, assertive energy. If something happens, whatever, they'll go, oh my God, oh my God, the baby, are you okay? No, no, no. That's not going to be, um, that's not going to work out. You have to be calm, assertive. The more calm and, and, and the good leader you are, the better the dog is. He is so right on that. Once again, great point. Very entertaining, very talented. A lot of trainers do not like him. The mistake is they don't have to do everything that he does. You don't have to do what he does. What you got to do is take what you like or what could be valuable to you and use it. I met him one time and I hope to work with him train-wise. He is the man. So, guys, keep on watching. We're going to do more videos like this in the future. And this is Felix with Dog Train Beyond. Like, share, subscribe. So that way we could offer you more and more training. But... If you're having trouble with your dog and you really need help and you don't know what to do, if you're in the local area, guess what? Click that link below the website, DT Beyond. Click that, and I'll be able to help you with your dog in no time. So click that link now. See you guys soon.